Hi guys, it's Otto from Motorize It, and today I'll be giving you four tips on installing your tubular motor or automating your roller shutters. Um, first of all, it's uh, if you want to install your motor, you probably want to test it. Um, you can do that when it's in the, in, in the roller shutter itself, but some people want to, to set up a test when the motor is still out of the, uh, out of the roller shutter. Um, and often it's done in this way, you put on the crown and the drive, and you have it like so, and you put power on, and you try to find the end limits. It won't work, and you'll think the motor is defective. That's because when you want to test it, and when you want to make sure that the motor knows where to stop, the motor head needs to be in a locked position, and this needs to be able to turn independently. Um, otherwise, the motor cannot calculate where to stop and where to, and where to start. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. If you want to do a test, uh, that's fine, but do it in the right way. Otherwise, you'll, um, you'll think it's defective even when it's not. Um, if you've done a test or if you've taken out a motor that's been running for a while, um, it gets very hot. So um, make sure that you, uh, you, you, you prevent yourself from getting burned uh, and wear gloves. Um, even if it's after 10 or 20 seconds, the motor can heat up and it can get up to 140 degrees Celsius before it goes into thermal protection. Um, and 140 degrees is very hot. So uh, stay safe, wear gloves if, uh, if the motor's been running for anything over 15 seconds. Um, first thing is, as you can see here, there's a, a, a nice little scratch on the tube of the motor. And that's because the screw has been driven into the outer tube, so the tube that actually surrounds this motor, too far. And it has damaged, with each revelation, uh, the motor itself. The end result will be, um, well, if the screw goes in too far, that the motor will end up in two halves, um, basically running it uh, completely damaged. Um, another thing is that if there's a scratch like this, it completely voids the warranty that the manufacturer gives. Um, you generally have a five-year warranty, um, so uh, if you have these scratches, it's, it would be a shame. So make sure that nothing can actually um, touch the motor once it's, uh, it's been installed into the tube. So no screws, etc. Uh, in this part of the, uh, of the tube. The last part is, uh, is this. On the, uh, on the motor side, you can see that the cable actually runs into the motor head. Um, and often you choose well sh the shortest cable possible, so you would basically run it like this. To prevent rain from coming in or water damage, make a small bend in the cable, like so. Because water, if any water comes in, it will choose the, the, the wave least resistance and it will actually drip here instead of going straight into the motor head and damaging the motor. Again, um, any water damage is, uh, is a reason for the manufacturer to avoid the warranty, so uh, do avoid that. I mean, it's a, it's a small thing to do, but it can really help you out, so uh, do that if you install a motor, especially when it's on the outside of your house. That's it, four little tips. Um, if you have any questions about the tips, about motors or some few products in general, do let me know. Uh, the email address is info at motorizer.it. Um, you can also leave a comment. I check these regularly and I do respond quickly. So uh, feel free to leave a comment as well. If you want to, uh, to subscribe, that's fine too. Uh, we have regular updates every month. So um, I look forward to seeing you as a subscriber and see you in a new video. Thank you. See you next time.